My name is Sean O'Brien with Agile Technologies. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the IDP3 dry scroll pump and later the installation to a Cascade Sciences vacuum oven. Before we start, you want to grab a flathead screwdriver for installation and a pair of scissors. First, we'll pull out the power cord for the vacuum pump. Here is the vacuum hose that will go from the vacuum pump to the vacuum oven. And here is the exhaust hose for the vacuum pump. There is a nice handle here that you can use to lift the pump out of the box. And don't forget the manual and quick start guide, which is in the bottom of the box. Here is our Agile IDP3 scroll pump. You want to make sure that the gas ballast breather kit is installed here. If this has not been done, you'll want to use a flathead screwdriver to switch it out. And now we'll go to the installation. All right, and now that we've unboxed the pump, we're ready to start with installation. The pump is provided with an hour meter here to keep track of the hours on your pump. In order to preserve the longevity of the pump, you want to make sure you have a gas ballast breather kit installed. If you're using a scroll pump that does not have one of these, you should give Cascade a call. We're going to start with a vacuum hose. This is going to connect from the pump to the oven. The pump ships with a plastic cover that we're going to go ahead and remove. And this is a KF-16 quick clamp. Make sure you don't lose the centering ring. Make sure that's tight. There are two vacuum barbs on the back of your vacuum oven. The smaller one is vent and the larger one is 3 8 inch and that will attach to the vacuum hose. Now we'll slide the hose over the barb so there's enough for a good seal with the clamp. Take the screwdriver and tighten the clamp up. Now we're going to go ahead and install the exhaust hose. The barbed exhaust fitting is located at the front of the IDP3 scroll pump. We're going to install the hose and then tighten the clamp. You want to route this away from the working area. Next, we'll install the power cord. This is located at the rear of the pump. Now we have our IDP3 scroll pump all hooked up and we're ready to get started. If you have any questions about this, please give Cascade Sciences a call.